Bold prints and beautiful colors are the trademark of the apparel available at the Atal store. Its latest collection celebrates high fashion and modern silhouettes. And who better to tell us about it than the boss, designer, creative director, boss, head cook, bottle washer, Diane Fontaine, joining us this morning. Howdy. Howdy. How are you? I'm very well. Can I go back like 15 years? Okay. When Diane used to come to RJR with her pull on, her carry on, and she used to come to us like every week, maybe. Yeah, every other couple week, of weeks, yeah. With her jewelry that she used to sell. Um, you were a lawyer at the time. Correct. Um, but you were selling your jewelry on the side, and then you left Jamaica and you went to Africa to take up a position there in law. And um, Etal was born before then, but it was born, born when you went to foreign. Tell me about the catalyst that, that led you to this entity. Because before it was just jewelry and art. Yes. Now you're into the clothing big time and it's taken off. Hmm. Thank you. So, I mean, Simone, as you know, I mean, you know, I have a passion for anything fashionable. I'm a creator. And so... I remember when I, you know, and I love to, I think I'm, by heart, I just want to sell. I mm, want to make mm. people happy. I want to, I want to trade. So I, yeah, I used to come to RGR and other, I think, you know, um, corporations, institutions in Jamaica. And it was, it, it was interesting then because like you say, I had my, my yeah, my yes. carry on, my practice yes. that I would, I would take stuff around. And I think just the, the energy that I'd get and the reception from people made me feel like I, it was a passion, and mm -hmm. I felt like it was a passion that was making an impact. And the relationships you were able to build. And also. Mm -hmm. And so when I moved, when I had that real opportunity to move to Africa, and I was there, and I initially it wasn't like something I thought of. But I remember I was sitting with my, <laughs> with my housekeeper, and she had, she had, um, there was a problem with a, a dress I'd bought. And I was kind of just reprimanding her to say, man, listen, how did you wash it and cause this problem? And she said, but madam, if you... If you were making your own clothes, you wouldn't have this issue. You wouldn't feel so, you know, so connected to something that was soiled or spoiled. And when she left, I called her back. I was like, what did you just say? Mm -hmm. And it resonated. And it ser seriously, I mean, it's a strange story, but et al. in terms of the clothing line what was actually, yeah, it was actually born out of that crazy dialogue. Where yeah, is she now? Dialogue. She's still in Nigeria. Okay. Yeah. Is she still your housekeeper? No. She, she, she in fact, so my production... <laughs> My production facility there, she runs it. So I was just going to say, so she she's, her job. she's evolved as well. That's into incredible. A place. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. But that's your thing, though. You know, you're always blessing people, which is why I think it's coming back to you. Thank you. Because if you never mind <laughs> shop with Diane, you buy one piece and she give you a tree free. <laughs> um, so you've built a business now. First, you were at um, Phoenix. Yes. Now you've moved to Windsor. Yeah, we're at 24 Windsor. Um, so, so how does it work? You source the material there, you make there, you ship. How does it work? So, I mean, so it, it's evolved. So initially, it started in Nigeria. I had the facility in Nigeria. I was, you know, working out of Nigeria. So that facility is still there. So it still operates. I'm now in South Africa. And so it's, it's easy to be able to, to produce where you are because you're able to kind of have oversight of Correct. everything. Um, but I've always felt like the right thing to do is to have it be brand Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And so we've... <laughs> We've opened up a studio here as well. So we have a production facility in Kingston and we're producing out of Kingston. But this just started earlier this year. So before that, it was solely out of Africa. Now it's out of Jamaica Fantastic. in addition to out of Africa. Yeah, I saw you advertising for seamstresses the other day. Yes. Did you find what you... Um, we did find some, but of course, if there are other seamstresses that are interested, it's a pretty you know, big facility mm -hmm. in, in terms of Jamaican standards and so uh, and certain in terms of my, you know, what I, I can afford. And so we definitely need additional seamstresses and cutters as well. There you go, guys. You heard it here. So tell me about the new line now. Yeah. So Simone, the new Evolution. line is called Evolution. Mm. And it's called Evolution because, I, and I felt it, I felt and still feel it's an apt like name for the collection. So, you know, we, we're all going through massive change due to COVID. We're still in the middle of a pandemic or perhaps on the other side of it. I'm, I'm not quite sure. But um, wh wh while in deep in the pandemic, I thought, well, you know, what would be a good thing to come out of this pandemic? Like, what have I learned? Mm -hmm. And I saw how much change we had, we, you know, we'd been experience and it, it, experiencing. And it wasn't just in terms of, you know, like, how do we navigate, uh, you know, taking, you know, uh, you know uh, injection, you know, 
vaccines or you know tests etc it was also how we navigated life you know how we worked where we worked when we worked you know the interplay between work and social life was there a social life mm -hmm. you know how did we socialize mm -hmm. um, and so i thought you know, it, it certainly affects how we dress as well, what we wear, when we wear, how we wear. And I thought, well, it would be great to have something that was that was able to kind of intersect both the the work world, which was now for, for many people at home, yeah. um, and the social world, which you know, which which is was a little bit more fluid because it wasn't necessarily work and play. Um, and so I thought, here's a line that I thought would be able to kind of kind of build a bridge between both. Um, and so it, I felt like I needed clothes that you could wear kind of for both, you know, mm -hmm. so you would be able to kind of cross over mm -hmm. from your, you know, work your work to world your to your social mm -hmm. world. So your day, your evening, your nightlife, it would sort of be that one piece that you could wear and that would transition easily between those different kinds of worlds. And so what I've, what I've told people about this, you know, evolution, which is just change, right? Is you're able to kind of move between. So if you buy an etal piece now, I feel like it does more than it. It kind of could <laughs> could then replace maybe from you maybe replace three ten years ago. <laughs> Honestly, really? yes. And when I wear them, people are like, "Where did you get that?" And I don't even tell them that it's old, right? Yeah. Because the work stands up. Yeah. The quality of you wearing a piece now. Yes. It stands up. So even Thank if you, you buy something in this evolution stage. Truth is that we're always evolving. Yes. So it's always going to be relevant. Yes. Anyway. Yeah. And I feel like it's relevant for actually more than one occasion now, yes. as opposed to, yes. you know, when I was more sp specific about yes. what you could wear it We for. saw some of the pieces that were being shown while you spoke. They are oh. beautiful. Thank you. The quality of an Ital frock or <laughs> pants or something, you buy it today, you have it for. Erin is going to be wearing some of those clothes when she's grown. Mm. Um, so the quality of your work. Um, has spoken for you and, and you. really has kind of eked out a very um, imp important space in fashion uh, in Jamaica. So, so Evolution is now available at the store. I'm sure you have grander plans in the work. Every time we think you're top, you, you go above. So there's more in store, don't you? There is. Yeah, there you know, is. You know, man. <laughs> Can you give us a sneak peek or is it a secret? Um, so, I mean, we, we're thinking certainly bigger. Certainly, uh, you know, independence is coming up. We want mm -hmm. to do an independence collection, which yeah. we think is going to be very unique and different. And I, I, we want to take it a bit, you know, a, a bit uh, maybe avant-garde, a little mm -hmm. bit different from what we, we sort of know here. So, I mean, I'm excited about that. That's something that's coming up this year. Um, we also want to do some sort of fashion show. That's that, that's sort of a you know Africa Fashion Week type thing, nice. um, and we're in discussions with you know with someone who has that brand and is doing it in, in major cities across the world to do it here in Jamaica Excellent. as well. So those are some of the things that we have lined up. But yeah, yeah, and you're also, you also just recently opened the the cafe in Mobe in Saint Anne in, in, in Saint Anne, yeah, right, in Drax right. Hall, Drax yes. Hall, on the way to. Um, so you're doing really big things, madam. Even as you. Haven't come back home yet. Not, still, not quite. You're still residing in Africa, but you're back and forth. Yeah, so I'm in Johannesburg, um, still working. I'm okay. actually working from, from home this week, but I return um, next week. And yeah, so I'm still trying to juggle both worlds. Mm -hmm. But I think it's worked out to be, you know, I've, I've, I think I've been able to use it expediently. Um, so I, I'm grateful for the opportunity that it, it provides. Fantastic. Folks, check out the line. It's called Evolution, the clothing, the jewelry, now you have slippers and sandals. Um, Diane really has thought this thing out proper. So if you haven't yet visited, where do we find you? 24 Windsor Avenue, mm -hmm. Kingston 10. We're okay. also online as well um, at www.etalstore.com. We're also, we have a pretty impressive presence um, uh, on Instagram mm -hmm. at our handle is Etal Store and mm -hmm. we're also on Facebook. Mm -hmm. All right, and that's that, on that. Um, yeah, proud of you. Thank you. Proud of you, bad, bad. Bad. Thank you. Bad. Vital Stores creative director and designer, Diane Fontaine, took a big leap, and here she is living to tell the story of success. So more to you, um, more success to you. We've got a lot more coming up. Something to smile about, um, but we give you something special to smile about next. Thanks, Diane. Thank you so much. All right. Take a break, folks, and come. Mm -hmm.